A click on the ISRD icon in the vertical toolbar opens the ISRD dialog. You can see the effect of dust and scratch removal only in a 100% preview. You can choose between a one-on-one -on -one preview and a high-quality preview. Both will show you the image in the original size according to the selected resolution. Silverfast is doing the high-resolution scan and the infrared scan now. After the high-resolution scan, Silverfast has enough data so that no further scan is necessary and no additional time is required. For the one-on-one -on -one preview, optimizations are calculated only for the visible image area in the yellow frame, while they are calculated for the complete picture in HQ mode so that you can move the visible area without recalculating. In the 100% preview, the correction is visible right away. You can choose between the automatic ISRD configuration, defects in the original, manual configuration, and mark defect. Press the Command and Shift or Control and Shift key and click into the preview window to see the infrared scan. This function can help to manually adjust the correction. In contrast to regular slides or color negatives, Kodachrome pictures have very dark and dense areas which don't let the infrared light pass sufficiently and which thus are treated like a real defect. You can use a mask to limit the ISRD correction to certain areas. In this picture, the defects in the sky are very striking, while the defects in the city are less obvious. We limit the correction to the sky to avoid those unwanted corrections in the dark areas of the city. You can create the mask both in the zoom preview and in the 100% preview. The path mask is made of single points. The mask is drawn once you return to the starting point and close the path. You can edit the mask by clicking the mask icon again or by choosing Edit from the menu. You can add areas to an existing mask which may or may not be connected to the original mask. Of course you can subtract areas from your mask too. You can increase the sensibility of the defect recognition since there are no corrections by mistake in bright image area. Let's take a look at the result before we dive into the additional functions of Silverfast AI Studio and HDR Studio. The correction in the marked areas has worked flawlessly, but the dust and scratches in the rest of the picture are still there, of course. So let's go back and see what more we can do with the expert settings. First, I'll delete that mask and go back into HQ Preview. A click on the mortarboard icon opens the expert settings. To illustrate the settings, we'll continue to work with a detection setting that is a bit too high and with marked defects. The defect size slider sets the size of the defects that ISRD is looking for. Move the slider to the right to increase the size and to the left to decrease it. This slider adjusts the detection. Separate from that, the extension slider handles the size of the correction. Again, move the slider to the right for larger corrections and to the left for smaller corrections. It's possible that there is a misalignment between the RGB and the infrared scan. For example, if you bump into the table, the scanner stands on. Usually, ISID corrects that offset automatically. If necessary, you can adjust the offset correction manually instead. The most important additional function is the Eraser tool, which allows you to exclude certain areas from the correction. Use the slider to adjust the size of the Eraser tool. With the Eraser, you can erase the correction precisely from the dense areas that would lead to unwanted corrections. This way, as AI Studio user, you are not limited to the use of masks 
and you can clean the whole Kodachrome picture with the infrared based dust and scratch removal. Let's take a look at the original image and our final image. ISID can be used for slides, color negatives and Kodachrome images. If you want to remove dust and scratches from black and white film or printed photos, please take a look at our video on the software based dust and scratch removal tool SRDX.